Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to install RetroPie on your Raspberry Pi 1, 2, 3, or even your Raspberry Pi 0. Now first up, there's a few things you're going to need. In this video, I'm going to be pretty much just covering the Raspberry Pi 3. First thing you'll need is obviously a Raspberry Pi 3. They're $35 on Amazon. I'll leave links for everything in the description. The next thing you're going to need is a decent power supply. I recommend a 2.5 amp power supply. You can also find those on Amazon. You'll need an SD card of some size. I recommend 16 gigabyte all the way up to 200 gigabyte. And finally, you'll need a controller of some sort. Now, I do recommend getting a USB controller at first, then you can upgrade to a Bluetooth or some sort of wireless. But if you're just starting out, it's really easy to set up a USB controller and you can get them really cheap on Amazon. Or if you don't want to go through the hassle of ordering each one of these items separately, you can buy some sort of Raspberry Pi 3 kit. Now I recommend the Canna kit and there's several versions of it. They go from $60 all the way up to 100 and something. But most of these kits are basically the same. It'll include everything you need from the Raspberry Pi 3 to the power supply, SD card, sometimes you even get a case or a controller. Now that you know what you need to get started, it's time to install the software. We're going to move over to my PC. I'm going to show you how to do this. It's really easy as long as you follow along exactly like I'm showing you. And within 10 to 20 minutes, you can have RetroPie up and running on your Raspberry Pi 3. Let's move over to the PC now. All right, guys, so now you got the hardware out of the way, it's time to install RetroPie to an SD card. It's really simple to do. You're going to need to download a few things. First up, we're going to need to download RetroPie. Links in the description. Go to download. We're going to scroll down a little bit. If you have the Pi Zero, Pi Zero W, or Raspberry Pi One, you're going to need to download this image. If you have the Raspberry Pi Two or Three, you'll need to download this image. Most of you are probably using a Raspberry Pi Three, so we're going to go ahead and click this one. It's going to download. It's 612 megabytes. Next thing we're going to need is an application called Etcher. Now Etcher works on Windows, Mac, or Linux, so this will work on pretty much any operating system. I just downloaded the Windows X64 portable version. And finally, a little bit of info for you guys. This is the RetroPie wiki page. Everything you need to know is in here. You're just going to have to read through it. I've also made hundreds of videos on RetroPie. I'm going to leave a link in the description to some of the most important ones like installing games from a USB drive, setting up PlayStation, and Neo Geo. Now that we have Etcher and RetroPie downloaded, we're just going to head over to the desktop. RetroPie should be zipped up. We're just going to right click on it. I'm using 7-zip. You can use 7-zip or WinRAR. Extract it. It's done extracting. I'm just going to take this zip, put it in my waste basket. And here's the RetroPie image. It's a disk image file. Next thing we're going to need to do is plug our micro SD card into our PC. I'm using a little micro SD card adapter. Mine's already plugged in. I have renamed mine so I know exactly which drive it is. It's drive F, it's a 16 gigabyte SD card. Open up Etcher. From here, we're gonna select image. The image we're gonna select is our RetroPie image that we downloaded and extracted. Mine's on my desktop. Disk image file, double click. Make sure your SD card is chosen here. You can click change. It should only show SD cards or USB drives. Just be safe and make sure this is an SD. Click continue and flash. Etcher is going to flash and verify the files on the SD card. When this is done, we can move over to the Raspberry Pi 3, plug our SD in, our controller, and our power, and we'll be running RetroPie. Then we're going to move back over here and I'm going to show you how to install some ROMs over network. All right, guys, when your SD card is done flashing, you should see something like this. You won't be able to add ROMs to the SD card directly on Windows, but we can add them over network. We're going to go over to the Raspberry Pi, plug in the SD card, the controller, and the power supply. Let's move over there now. So after it's done booting for the first time, you'll get this welcome screen. I have one PlayStation 4 controller plugged in with USB. It says one gamepad detected. Hold A button on your device to configure it. In this case, I'm actually going to hold the circle button on the PS4 controller. From here, we're going to set up the D-pad. Up, down, left, right. Now we'll need start, select, 
A, B, X, Y, left shoulder, right shoulder, left trigger, right trigger, left thumb, right thumb, my left analog stick, so I'll do up, down, left, right, right analog stick, up, down, left, right. Enable a hotkey, I'm gonna use my PS button right in the middle. Now if you missed one like I did, you can always use your D-pad to go back up. As you can see, my right trigger and my left thumb did not recognize the first time, that's fine. We're gonna to go to the right trigger and we're gonna press the A button. Whatever button you set up as A, we need to press it. Now, I'm gonna hit my right trigger. I'm gonna move down with my D-pad, do the same thing, A, left thumb. And I'm gonna move all the way down to OK with my D-pad and press A again. You're now running RetroPie on your Raspberry Pi. As you can see, there's no games pre-installed, so we need to install some. There's two main ways to do this. You can do it using a USB drive, and I linked a video in the description showing you how to do that. Or you can do it over network. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So I use Ethernet on my Raspberry Pi, but the Pi 3 does have Wi-Fi built in. In order for this to work, the computer you're transferring your ROMs to the Pi from need to be on the same exact network, on the same router. I have Ethernet plugged into my Raspberry Pi 3, but if you wanna use Wi-Fi, you can. Go to the RetroPie menu, press A, Scroll all the way down to Wi-Fi. You're gonna set your Wi-Fi up in here. So you go to Wi-Fi. You might need a keyboard connected because you might have a long password. So you have to plug a keyboard into the Pi in order to type in your password for your Wi-Fi connection. I'm using Ethernet, so I don't have to worry about this. I'm just gonna back up. I'm gonna leave my Raspberry Pi running. It's connected to the same exact network as the PC I'm gonna transfer my ROMs from. Let's move back over to the PC and I'll show you how to connect over network and load some games onto the SD card. So I'm back at my PC. I have some ROMs in a folder on my desktop called ROMs. Now I'm only going to be transferring a few Game Gear games, some Mega Drive, otherwise known as Genesis here in the United States, some NES and some SNES games. Let's go ahead and open up another file explorer. Just right click, file explorer. I'm gonna snap this over to the right hand side. In the quick access bar up here, we're gonna type in backslash backslash RetroPie, all capital. Press enter. And we're now connected to the Raspberry Pi over network. We have BIOSes, configs, ROMs, and splash screens. We're gonna be focusing on the ROMs folder. We'll open this up. Inside of here, we have folders for all the systems that are supported on the Raspberry Pi 3. I'm going to start with SNES. I'm going to open this up. As you can see, this folder is empty. I'm going to grab some games from my PC, drag them in here, give them a little time to transfer over. Now they're on the Raspberry Pi 3's SD card. We're going to back up and do the same with each one. So we'll find NES, get my NES games, drag them over. Same thing with Mega Drive. I'm gonna find Mega Drive. And one more, we'll do Game Gear. Now these are smaller ROMs and that's why I wanted to do it in this video. This is what a lot of people are gonna be playing. If you wanna play PlayStation 1 or Neo Geo, you're gonna to have to watch another video because you do need a BIOS. This is a basic setup, but it'll get you up and going. Now that we have games on our Raspberry Pi 3's SD card, it's time to move back over there. We're gonna reboot one time, all our games will show up, and then I'll show you how to add some images. We're back at the Pi. Go ahead and press start on your controller. Scroll down to quit, restart emulation station. Yes. And now you can see we have Game Gear, Mega Drive, NES, and Super Nintendo. If I go into one of these folders, we can see the five games that I added from my PC. Now a lot of you guys might want images. It's really simple to do that. I also made a video on how to add video snaps. I'll leave a link in the description to that. But from here, we're gonna do a basic scrape. Press start on your controller. Make sure the Pi is connected online. The very top option is Scraper. 
Scrape from the Games TV, I leave it there. Scrape ratings, I leave that on. Go to Scrape now. There's four systems selected automatically, the four systems that I added games to. User decides conflicts. Now, if you leave this on, you can decide what image you want, but I'm going to turn this off because it makes it pretty automatic. Scroll to start. It's going to scrape as many images as it can find online and add them to each game. All of my games were scraped successfully. I'm going to click OK. We're going to back up one more time. So now when I go into one of these folders, I should have images for each of these games. I'm going to go into Super Nintendo. As you can see, I have my images. This is box art. It makes it look a lot better. So now you're ready to play some retro games on your Raspberry Pi running RetroPie. It's really simple to set up. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you want to know how to run games or add games from a USB stick, I made a video on that. I made a video on pretty much everything related to RetroPie and the Raspberry Pi 3. So just do a quick YouTube search, type your question out, put ETA Prime at the end of it, and I probably have a video on it. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, Hit that like button and subscribe. And like always, thanks for watching.